Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. What I'm going to be talking about in this lesson is the optimal start, which is a very nice feature that uh, Metis' extended architecture has. What this allows us to do is to calculate the pre-start time for heating and cooling based upon what the zone temperature is prior to the occupants arriving. What we're going to do here, we're going to create a folder in one of our buildings and uh, walk you through some of the steps to uh, set up the uh, ORT as we commonly call it and uh, this is a very very useful and powerful tool so if you follow along uh, you should get a, a little better understanding of how it works the first thing that I want to do is to insert a new folder in my uh, device that way I can keep everything organized nice and neat so I'm just going to highlight the uh, device where I want the uh, folder placed and simply go up to insert folder and it's going to ask me again for the destination which I'm going to leave it at this and I'm just going to select next and I'm going to name this folder ORT but you can name it whatever you would like now once I get that done uh, just go through the review screens real quick the next step in the process is creating a couple of values that we're going to use for some of the calculations we'll be doing and what that will allow us to do is uh, manipulate the settings on our system so what we're going to create are a couple of analog values so I'm going to go to insert object and you see once again that I have my folder uh, highlighted that's where I want to put these so I'm going to hit AV for an analog value and I'm going to make sure that that's where I want to put it I'm going to go to my next screen where I actually name it and what I'm going to call this is ORT cooling set point now then I'm going to set up my units in uh, degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to put a relinquished default of 72 in here that will uh, ensure that if uh, anything happens it should default back to the 72 degrees set point I don't want to add any trends or anything uh, you can, when setting up the ORTs, you can use either a single point, you can even use the common set point of your uh, device that it's going to be controlling, but I want to be able to manipulate this a little easier. And uh, so the next value that I'm going to set up is the heating set point. So back to object, insert another analog value, and I'm going to call this a uh, heating set point for ORT now then now that I have these created uh, let's go ahead and set this to the degree Fahrenheit and I'm going to put this one at 70 now what the ORT will do that we'll see a little bit more of here in just a moment is look at these set points and then look at the current zone temperature of the space and it will calculate how much pre-start time it thinks it needs now then what I'm going to be doing is creating ORT for VAVs I'm not going to go through all of the logic that we use for the way that we have this system set up however I'm going to give you just a little bit of an idea of uh, how it works uh, what I'm going to do here, these are the VAVs that uh, I'm going to be using the ORT on and which are all served by this air handler. The first VAV that I'm going to do is for this uh, overflow seating area. 
So what I want to do here is I'm going to insert another object and from my object selection screen I'm going to select optimal start. Hit next. Of course it's going to give me uh, the location that I already have highlighted. Here's where I'm going to name this. I highly recommend that you name the ORT with the same or similar identifier as the object it is controlling. This will make troubleshooting it much easier in the future. Now then, once I have that created, you'll notice in this screen here that there are some boxes that are highlighted in red. The system will not let you proceed until you enter information into these devices or into these uh, areas. Up here we see our object identifier, the name, of course, this is going to be heating and cooling. Now you can select one or the other depending on what uh, type of system you have. Uh, this adaptation enabled it comes defaulted true I recommend you leave it that way this system has the ability to learn whether or not it needs to adjust its settings if this is turned on if it does not reach set point within a uh, within what it thinks it needs what it will do is it will automatically change its constant values to uh, help bring the uh, space closer to set point the next time now the first thing that we need to do here, our zone schedule object, is we need to tell it exactly when we're going to be bringing the space occupied. So we are going to select the uh, schedule that covers this space and of course Fresh Foods is the name of this area. Now our next two are very closely, very closely related. These two objects here, the way that they're going to be used, it's going to be going, both controlling the occupancy point of the VAV. There are different configurations of controllers that will allow you to use these separately, uh, especially if you get into a pre-stop time where you actually shut the space down prior to everyone leaving. But uh, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to be going in and grabbing the individual zone occupancy point. And as you see, here is our terminal. I'm going to be grabbing the occupancy schedule. For that one, I'm going to come in here, grab the occupancy schedule again for the same controller. That is what will turn the uh, VAV on and off. Now, our cooling set point, I'm going to go back and select those values that I created earlier ORT cooling set point. Once again you can use the zone common set point for this. Uh, you know you can actually use it for both of them but the way that we use this system we're going to be having two separate set points uh, to be in a little more in alignment with our energy policy and that sort of thing. Now here's our zone temperature. You can see it has to know what the zone temperature of the space is before this is going to function. So we simply go into the space, into the into the controller. We have our zone temp right here. We select that. It pulls that into the configuration. And one thing nice about this is it also takes the outdoor air temperature into consideration. So we hit that box. We go down to where we have an outdoor air sensor. In this case we have one underneath the air handler and all I have to do is to locate and select it as well and uh, right here it is now we have all of our information entered if it pulls it in there we go this area here and you will need to look this up on Google this is information that is uh, design information for your particular geographic area it's going to be a little different depending on where you are, the climate and the space where you are and that sort of thing. But this will play into how the uh, ORT calculates 
within your system but once we have all this information in we're simply going to hit next and we're going to hit finish now then we have created our OR. here we can see a space that has uh, been running with the ORT for a good while now and the space is scheduled to be occupied at six o'clock in the morning instead of having to set up a pre-start time and let the space run for an hour or two to uh, get the temperature within set point the system will calculate how long it thinks that it needs to uh, get the temperature with, uh, within a certain range of that set point if our occupancy time is six o'clock the system has calculated that it needs to start the space at approximately 529 in order to cool it adequately. Now then, if we simply put a pre-start time within our schedule of an hour or two hours, we would be running equipment unnecessarily for a good amount of time and that would actually uh, increase our utility demand as well as our utility costs. So that's one of the big advantages of using an ORT and allowing it to calculate uh, the pre-start time. Uh, the optimal start is a very powerful tool. It is a uh, very useful tool in reducing energy costs and also uh, reducing the runtime on your equipment. So if uh, you would uh, visit my blog at systemcontroltech.com you would see a uh, within the article that this video is going to be accompanying you would see where I have listed a little more information about how the optimal start works I've got listed there the formula of how it works but uh, this system will actually uh, take a, take it a step more it will actually figure in outside air and that sort of thing anyways thanks for watching the video visit my blog at systemcontroltech.com and be sure to rate the video I greatly appreciate it thanks <laughs>